Hi, this is Asher from Primal Wellness. A lot of people wonder how to get started with a carnivore diet. Um, it doesn't matter if you're on a keto diet or paleo diet or a standard American diet. Um, people who are considering trying trying out a carnivore diet often wonder how to how to get started with it. Um, how to get started with such a, a restrictive way of eating. Um, I remember when I was first considering trying out carnivore uh, over a year and a half ago. It was also very daunting to me to, to think how to um, how to do it, how to be able to eat only meat and uh, to be satiated and um, and to not be hungry and not go crazy. So uh, it's it is a normal um, normal way of thinking. So what I recommend is if so so what happened with me is while I was thinking about going carnivore, it was the end of towards the end of 2018. And so I figured, okay, beginning January 1st, uh, 2019, I'll, I'll start a 30-day trial of the carnivore diet, see how it goes. And so probably the f last couple of weeks in December, maybe the whole month of December, I was, and I'd been keto before that, so I started lowering the amount of uh, vegetables and plants that I was eating. And so probably one meal, maybe every day or every other day would be meat only and then the other meals I would cut down in the the amount of vegetables uh, maybe have some meat with um, with a little bit of avocado or with uh, one type of vegetable um, and so that's one way that I was kind of gradually if one wants to do it on a gradual uh, as a gradual process um, one can kind of reduce the amount of vegetables one eats and until you're not eating any and then uh, which might make it easier. So I think that did make it a little bit easier for me because the weeks leading up to when I started going carnivore, I tried carnivore, I was eating very, uh, very few vegetables. Now, if you want to go um, all at once, cold turkey, that's that's okay also, and a lot of people do that and, and do that with no problem. Uh, if you can do it, it'd probably be easier if you eat dairy and you're not sensitive to dairy, you're okay with it more or less, uh, I think that probably makes it a little bit easier. I don't eat dairy currently. Um, I ate it for the first about eight or nine months um, that I went carnivore and then uh, and then cut it out. Uh, I did an experiment with it. I cut it out for a month and then um, reintroduced it, had a slice of cheese on a, on a burger patty, and it... Um, it wrecked my, my digestive system pretty badly. Uh, I had bad uh, cramps, pain. Um, so that's a pretty good indicator that dairy doesn't sit too well with my system. But, uh, but the first nine months or so, I did eat dairy, and I think that made it a lot easier when I went carnivore. I ate a lot of cheese, um, had a lot of cheeseburgers, so burger patties with cheese on top. Uh, other things I'd have, uh, I'd make fried halloumi cheese, uh, which is the cheese that you can fry in like butter or, or, or beef fat or any other type of animal fat. So I think the dairy added uh, added a lot, made it easier to to make the in initial adjustment to to carnivore. Uh, and I was eating a lot more variety of types of meat. So I was eating a lot of chicken. I was eating bacon. I was eating beef. Um, and in general, the trend is when one starts carnivore and during the, the first um, phases of after one goes carnivore, most people like a good amount of variety in the types of meat they eat. Um, and then usually, typically, the, the amount, the, 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 the t different types of meats that people will eat will become more narrow and people will, will gravitate towards um, fewer types of meat and we'll crave those meats. Oftentimes it's red meat, so beef or lamb. Uh, those are very nutrient dense cuts of meat uh, and very satiating and with a good amount of fat, healthy fats that we need. So, uh, for example, in the beginning, the first couple of months that I went carnivore, I was eating dairy, I was eating chicken, fish, pork, beef, lamb, seafood. And now, pretty much what I eat is beef and eggs and, um, and a little bit of fish and seafood. But primarily beef and eggs is what I eat every day. That's what I crave every day. That's, my, that's what I feel best eating. Um, so that's what I eat most of the time. 
Um, and also, I forgot to mention eggs. So eggs, I also did eat um, in the beginning of, of carnivore. I had a lot of cheese omelets. I would make um, eggs with cheese on them. So that that helped also in going carnivore. So that's pretty much what what I would advise. It's not. It seems crazy to eat only meat to, and nothing else. And I want. And I remember I wondered how am I going to be able to do this? How am I going to be able to eat only meat? as like a whole meal and be satisfied and satiated with it it's actually not as hard and it's a lot easier than you expect initially once you start doing it uh, your body responds pretty well to to the meat and it is so satiating and satisfying and nourishing so your body adjusts and gets used to it and actually starts to enjoy it and like it uh, pretty quickly so there wasn't really a long curve where I had to uh, a long period of time where I was going crazy and was really craving plant foods. It didn't really happen with me. There might be people that uh, that might crave plant foods in the beginning a little bit more, but uh, fortunately I wasn't uh, one of them. Um, so yeah, I would just do a lot of variety. And uh, one thing that I recommend is to make sure you're eating enough. So a lot of people try and restrict the amount they eat. Uh, a lot of people want to, who are trying a carnivore diet, uh, one of their goals is weight loss. So they think they need to restrict calories, re they need to restrict the amount of food they're eating, and that's not uh, a good thing to do. You definitely want to make sure you're eating enough, and especially during the transition, your body is going through a lot of metabolic changes and adaptations, and you want to make sure that your body's nourished, has enough macro and micro micronutrients as it needs to, uh, to make the, the adjustment. Um, during the initial phase so definitely don't starve yourself you want to eat uh, when you're hungry and eat until you're full uh, typically I'd recommend starting off with three meals a day if you currently eat three or more three meals a day and, and, and snacks so I would start with three meal three meals a day and eventually you'll probably gravitate towards uh, two meals a day which I think is most common for uh, for most people on the carnivore diet though some people eat one meal a day um, and there's no snacking there's no need to snack when you eat enough nutrient dense animal based foods in a meal you don't get hungry for quite some time afterwards so I eat two meals a day currently and have been doing this for the past I don't know eight or nine months I'll have breakfast at seven eight nine ten depending on when I when I wake up uh, whether it's a weekday or weekend and then I won't get hungry until about six o'clock that evening or later. So I'll have my second meal of the day at six or seven or eight p.m. And it's a, a pretty good sized meal. Um, but again, I, I listen to my body. I um, try and eat intuitively. I wait until I'm hungry and then I eat and I eat until I'm full. So you don't need to restrict the amount that you eat, especially in the beginning when your body is going through all the, uh, all the changes and adaptations, adjusting to the new diet. Uh, you want to make sure you're eating good portions and eating until you're full. Uh, you don't need to worry about gaining weight. Though some people gain a little bit of weight initially during the first couple of months. Typically that weight comes off after the first three to six months. Um, and again, well, you want to make sure you stay hydrated. So you're drinking uh, enough water to, to maintain, maintain good levels of hydration. So drink according to thirst. Or a little bit more and you want to at least initially it's probably a good idea to make sure you're getting enough minerals and electrolytes so um, salting your food not worrying about um, salting your food is probably a good idea um, and again basically to salting to flavor um, and then afterwards you can play around with that depending on how you feel after your body's adjusted to the carnivore diet um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, not too complicated. Um, it seems very daunting initially um, before you start um, to switch to only eat meat, but it's actually a lot easier than it seems and that you'd think it would be. And <clears throat> you get used to it very quickly and very, uh, very easily. So if you have any questions about this video about starting a carnivore diet, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, if you found this helpful, if you like this video, uh, Go ahead and click on the like button and if you uh, would like to hear other videos from me uh, about the carnivore diet about nutrition about exercise and fitness um, feel free to click the subscribe button 
Appreciate it. Have a good day.